Welcome to the second of three Stickler's Fibre Training videos. In this section we are going to look at the best practices for cleaning fibre connectors. We will focus on cleaning a connectorised block terminal and OptiTap connector using the 2.5mm Clean Clicker 750 and 2.5mm Clean Sticks products. But the cleaning process you should follow applies to both the 1.25mm Clean Clicker 750 and the MPO Clean Clicker products you will find in your cleaning kits for all connector types. We advise that you clean the connector inside the adapter before cleaning the cable assembly. This is not compulsory but helps to create some consistency to your cleaning process and reduces the possibility of missing a connector. It is vital that you clean both ends of the mated pair. If you only clean one end and the other end is contaminated, the mated connectors will cross-contaminate and you could potentially ruin both end faces permanently. Once you've removed the protective cap from the connectorized block terminal, remove the end cap from your clean clicker and place this in the slot at the bottom of the tool, then twist the handle from locked to unlocked. Insert the barrel of the clean clicker down to the bottom of the adapter and then push the handle in one smooth motion until you hear and feel the tool click. This will indicate a full rotation of cleaning fibre has been achieved. The Clean Clicker 750 is a very effective tool and in the vast majority of applications will completely remove contamination with a single click. To clean the cable assembly place the end cap back onto the tip of the clean clicker and remove the lid. The opening in the lid is designed to accommodate the 2.5mm ferrule of an SC, ST, FC or OptiTap connector. Insert the clean clicker into the cable and push the handle down until once again you hear and feel the click. If you've discovered slightly higher than normal levels of contamination when testing either end of the connector pair, you will need to follow a more comprehensive cleaning process, generally known as wet to dry cleaning, using your splice and connector cleaning fluid and cleaning wipes. When using the wet to dry method, never apply the cleaning fluid directly onto the clean clicker tip, as it is hard to control how much fluid is applied and you may oversaturate the connector during cleaning. Instead, open the lid of your cleaning fluid, remove a single cleaning wipe from the box, fold it in half and press down once or twice to extract a measured dose of fluid. Touch the tip of the clean clicker onto the wet section of the wipe so that it is slightly moist. You can now clean the connector inside the adapter or replace the end cap to clean the cable assembly. For heavy contamination in the adapter, you can also use the cleaning sticks you will find in your orange kit, along with the splice and connector cleaning fluid. To use this method of cleaning, tilt the can of fluid slightly, insert the stick into the side port and push down on the lid. Insert the stick into the side port of the adapter, turn it clockwise six to eight times and remove. The sticks have been engineered with a mechanical crimp, so don't worry about pushing down too hard. If you do, the tip will retract back into the handle and prevent damage to the fibre end face. When using a cleaning stick, make sure you only remove one stick at a time and reseal the sleeve. Otherwise, you run the risk of contaminating the remaining sticks. Never use the same stick more than once, otherwise there is a high risk of cross-contamination. This process should be followed when cleaning SC, ST and FC connectors, or when using the 1.25mm clean clicker to clean LC connectors and the MPO clean clicker to clean multi-mode connectors. Remember to either lift the lid or remove the cap entirely, depending on whether you are cleaning a male or female connector. The clean wipes box can be used to clean most male connector types. To clean, hold the wipe tight against the side of the box and remove any slack in the cloth. Following the direction listed on the side of the box, pull the connector across the wipe. The box has been designed to accept multi-fibers on a single wipe and the colour-coded panel will also help you to identify which section of cloth has been used, eliminating potential cross-contamination. To perform a wet to dry wipe, simply apply a small amount of the cleaning fluid at the top of the wipe using the extension tube supplied with the fluid. 
Place your connector in the wet section and pull it across the wipe into the dry section. It is best practice to discard the first wipe in the box if you've not used the product for some time. This will help to eliminate potential contamination. You should now have all of the tools and information required to effectively clean connectors. It is important to remember that the stickler splice and connector cleaning fluid should be introduced and the wet to dry method followed when dealing with increased levels of contamination. And if you are faced with high levels of contamination in the adapter, the clean sticks and fluid would be the most effective method.